This reading is for my beautiful Virgos. I want to say thank you to all my subscribers, all my new subscribers. Welcome. If you haven't already hit that bell button, hit that bell button at the bottom so you can get a notification each time I upload. Thank you, Holy Spirit. So we have Corfet, first card out. Okay. With Pathway. So somebody could be here. Uh, mm. So with Corfet and Pathway, something is definitely coming to an end. Somebody could be have to reroute. Somebody could have been trying to, uh, somebody could have been going in one direction and realize, um, no, that's not that's not happening. Somebody could be have to redirect their plans. We got great fortune and, and uh forced person with the change. Yeah. Somebody could have been expecting something to go in a favor, something that's not going in any favor. Something is definitely changing. Okay. Yes. Something is coming to a complete end when it comes to this person. Corporate the pathway. Somebody has to choose another pathway. Because whatever pathway they was choosing, um, Spirit is saying, it's not going in this person's favor. A gift, privileged lady. So this fourth person could have been trying to steal something from this privileged lady who who, who they see as very gifted. Um, somebody's spirit guys could have definitely stopped this person right in a trap, okay? And something came to a complete end, okay, for this person. Journey and high honor, Okay. So, somebody ancestors is definitely very present here, okay? Because whatever journey that you guys are going on, it's definitely going to, it has to be completed, it has to be fulfilled. And someone seeing you as a gift, as you know, someone who's very chosen, very privileged as well. Somebody could have been stopped, um, could have been wanting to stop you or very jealous of you. Yeah, whoever this fourth person is, they wanted to steal your great fortune. They wanted to change something when it comes to your destiny, I'm hearing. Yeah. Mm. Let's, pull, let's pull some more cards. Somebody was definitely trying to steal somebody who they see as, you know, um, very gifted. Um, getting a ten of pentacles, someone who they see as very abundance. Whoever this fourth person is, they were trying to steal that. They were trying to steal that. They wanted whatever pathway you was going on, they wanted it to end. They wanted everything to end with you. But with this high honor, your ancestors, mm -mm, your ancestors see everything. Yeah. Third eye and tarot reader. So you can be um you can be a psychic. Or someone could have got a reading done and just found um just found out how um how intuitive you are. This person feels like you got a lot of um higher wisdom. You you very clairvoyant, good um discernment, clarity, um a lot of self awareness, a lot of things to be revealed to you. Somebody could definitely yeah, somebody could have somebody didn't like that. Give me some messages, Holy Spirit, please, and thank you some more messages. Whoever this fourth person is, they want to take your great fortune. They wanted something to change with your destiny. Um, but somebody ancestors um is right here. Okay, we have Aquarius out here. Somebody sees you as very unique, very independent, um, very smart, um, very attractive as well. With this high on in this journey, your ancestors is definitely showing up. Your ancestors is definitely here. Okay, throat shocker. Your ancestors are definitely speaking up. Okay, yeah, we have the solitude and king of swords. Okay, so you could have spent some time alone. Okay, and your ancestors could have definitely been um, communicating um, this to you. So you could be very aware of somebody was trying to steal your destiny, or um, what you know that they, that can't happen, sun seeds. Okay, but somebody was working some magic. Somebody was trying to do something. Somebody could have also been trying to um, shut you up. Somebody feels like um, when you speak, you speak the honest truth, okay? Somebody want to know how do you know, how do you know certain things? How do you know certain things? Somebody wanted that for them. Somebody wanted to change something when it came to your destiny. It's like somebody wanted that for them. The sun card, somebody wanted... Ooh. Somebody wanted your prosperity. You guys could be in a leadership role, but it's something about you. Very healing. Mm. 
what's this? Ace of Fire. Yeah, somebody see you getting a whole new passion to begin it. Um, somebody could have found out about this um this new passion to beginning that you guys are uh, about to embark on, or this new beginning that you guys have entered. Um, somebody could have been trying to change that to steal that from you. Somebody knows that you're very talented as well. Yeah, we have crosswords and sacral chakra. Something with your creativity. Mm -hmm. Yeah, somebody was trying to confuse you. We have Aquarius, um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius out here. Your ancestors was like, hell no. You are going to get this passionate new beginning. With this sun card, you're going to be very happy. It's like somebody wanted to shut you up. King of Fire. Very bold, very optimistic. Dark Knight of the Soul. Um, this person, whoever this person is, um, could be a fire sign or Aquarius. Take it, if this not your sign, this could be their sign. Take it how it resonate. But somebody has a lack of energy right now. Okay. This person feels crazy. They feel confused. This person feels real stuck because whatever they tried to plan for you, it didn't work out. Your spirit guys, your ancestors definitely stepped right in. I'm hearing all your ancestors have to step in. Give me some more messages from the spirit. Yeah. This person is at a crossword now. A crossword because whatever they try to do to you, Sun Seeds, it, 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 it backfired. Now this person is feeling stuck. This person don't know which way to go because they had intentions on ending something from you, trying to take whatever... Whatever your destiny is, that's bringing in this great fortune, okay? Whatever gifts, with this gift card, whatever gifts that you have that, you know, um, makes you so chosen. Somebody wanted to, your gifts and they wanted your fortune. They wanted whatever pathway that you guys are on. This person know with the three and five breaking down to an eight. Somebody knows that you're on a pathway full of abundance. And somebody wanted to end that for this gift and this privileged lady. Whoever this fourth person is in great fortune, they wanted something to change. They could, wow. Somebody could have been trying to swap destinies. How the hell that worked? That don't even, you know what? Am I no injured? Somebody wanted to swap. How the hell did that work out for them? Yeah, that's why this person is at a crossword right now. Could have been a fire sign that was doing this to you. Mm. Yeah, I cracked it again. Tower Reed and Queen of Earth. Maybe you guys do tarot. Help people, um, you know, give them guidance and clarity. Understanding through tarot. Oh, you guys, um, they could have, um, this person could have gotten a tarot reader and found out. Oh, how wealthy. How wealthy and how much of a healer, how, much, how, much, how grounded you are. And somebody wanted this. Yeah, communication. Somebody wanted this. Yeah, communication and root. It's like somebody wanted this. Somebody wanted this. Ooh. Yeah, Queen of Fire. Somebody wanted this for them. You are very beautiful, very sexy, very confident as well. Very creative with the Neptune and Pisces um, being here as well. It's something about your psychic abilities. Something about your intuition, something about your uh, about your spirituality. Somebody, my nose is just somebody wanted somebody wanted to swap destinies. That's not going to work. That's not going to work. It was chosen for this healer, crown chakra. Yeah, it was a karmic partner, queen of earth, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. Wow, divine feminine. So, whoever your person is, they karmic could have been trying to, wow, spirit. Whoever your person, who, okay. So, whoever your, your person is, Sun Seed, your person karmic could have been trying to swap destinies with you to come off like the divine feminine. But spirit is saying, you turn, turn around. Wow. Ace of Earth. Wow. Somebody wanted your abundance. 
Yeah, the King of Cups. They know this person is in love with you, Divine Feminine. Somebody was trying to tap into your Akashi Records. Mm -mm. Somebody knows that you have access to the... Somebody know you have access to this database. Somebody knows that you have the... You know how to unlock secrets from the past, the present, the future, whatever. Okay, you have access to great wisdom. And somebody was trying to do black magic. Yeah. Karmic storm watching. This person was watching. This person was watching and spying on social media. This person could have been spying through tarot or your pictures online. Okay. If you if you guys um do anything online, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. Whatever content that you put out, this person watches it and stalks it. This person is obsessed with you. This person has their eyes on you. But we have Karmic Storm here. Ooh. Yeah, somebody wanted your empire. Somebody did. I'm telling you. But see, like I said, they didn't, your guardian angels was on it. Your guardian angels was on it. Wow. Yeah. Somebody knew with the sun card and ace of fire, somebody knew that you had a new beginning that was, you was going to be very happy, very abundant, okay? Something that was going to bring you in a lot of happiness. And somebody is watching you, stalking you some way, somehow, okay? Trying to tap into your energy. Some, <laughs> sun sees a karmic with trying to swap energies with you so that your divine, divine masculine, your person could look at them as a divine feminine. Wow. Mm. Mm. Give me some more messages, please. I think. Yeah, King of Earth. King of Earth, Queen of Earth, Karmic Partner. Whoever this relationship, whoever this karmic, um, whoever this couple is, this King of Earth and Queen of Earth will Karmic Partner. Whoever this couple is, these couples, oh, wow. Capricorn, Gemini energy here. Whoever this karmic partner is, they about to go down. These two people could definitely could have been worth. Wow, Capricorn, Gemini, Aries, Ace of Earth. Whoever this karmic couple is, they was trying to steal your destiny. Yeah. Wow. Mm -mm -mm. Divine Union and Secrets. Wow. They know that they know that you have a power couple. They know that. Whoever these people is, they know that they was really trying to swap it with Saturn and Capricorn and Aquarius. Somebody's receiving karma. Whoever these lovers is, they receiving karma. Yeah. Mm -mm. Somebody try to mess with your intuition. This person wants to mess with your legacy. You are someone who's breaking generational curses with the world card in and out things. Breaking generational curses. Somebody like, how? How do you get those gifts? How are you able to do that? Somebody see you being very successful, getting a lot of achievements. Somebody sees you happy. Yes, happy, nurturing, loving on yourself. It's something about your psychic abilities. Whoever this um, whoever this um, this couple is, because it came out, it came out, King of Earth, Queen of Earth, and Karmic Partner. They about to receive karma. These two people are toxic. They obsessive. They they envy you. Okay, these people envy you. They stalk you online, Spirit is saying. These are two people that's codependent on each other, full of illusions, using each other for nothing but sex, but watching you wanting your gifts, hoping to get your abundance. We have cancer watching. Somebody could be a cancer, or you could be a cancer. This karmic partner is about to go down, okay? Anything else, Holy Spirit, before we get into the tarot? Anything else? Yeah, now this whoever these this karmic partner is, they feeling stuck now. They feeling stuck. We have Aries, Scorpio, Leo, Soulmate, and Heart. 
Some, like a lot of you guys got new love. Somebody knows this. These people really want to steal your yeah, divine masculine. They know that. They know that. We see the first. Yeah, solitude. I feel like whoever this divine masculine is, they're going through a dark night of the soul. This person is in solitude, spending a lot of time by themselves. Spirit is also preparing this person um, before they come towards you. Somebody knows about this passion new beginning that you're about to get. Somebody knows that. Somebody tried to tap into your Akashi records, okay? And whatever they found out, they seen with the sun card that you're going to be very happy. They seen that. They seen that. They could have definitely got um went to a tarot reader. Okay, and they could have communicated this to them. And this person was like, how can I try to stop it? Ooh, chef. Mm. Yeah, because you've chosen. Somebody was, somebody, I'm telling you, somebody was messing. You have a divine mission. You are someone who's very authentic. And somebody was definitely trying to swap energies with you. Okay. Somebody don't like your strength, your connection, like your connection with spirit. This karmic part, look at their face. Look at her face. Look angry. And whoever this, whoever this um, masculine is, look. But see, this masculine got got um got his got a bag in his hand. Like uh uh. I wouldn't do that if I was you. I wouldn't go for that one. I wouldn't go for them if I was you. They like, uh-uh, Libra energy. Yeah, somebody like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't do that, light worker. Somebody like, I wouldn't do that if I was you. Yeah, with Saturn being here, you are going to get calm. Um, Saturn and Capricorn Aquarius. I wouldn't do that if I was you. Lovers. Yeah, floodgates. Somebody, so, two people was meant to be together. Yeah, spirit. Somebody... Somebody wanted your your destiny. So, okay. Cause the earth, um, the earth, um, the king of earth and the queen of earth. Okay. So your divine masculine could have communicated to this karmic that they didn't want anything to do with them anymore. Cause this person got a bag in the hand, like, mm-mm. Uh-uh. And this person looking like, no. You said we was gonna do something and let's do it. Look how angry. Uh-uh. Whoever masculine this is, they're like, nah. But I wouldn't do that if I was you. Whoever this divine masculine is right now is in solitude working on themselves. Okay? This could be your person could be going through a dark night of the soul right now. Okay. Whoever, um, yeah. Third eye. Your person definitely could be trying to balance out the chakras, third eye, and sacred chakra. Um, after dealing with this um karmic that was an energy vampire. Yeah, this was just somebody they was having sex with. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah. Well, with this Mars being here, Aries and Scorpio. Oh my goodness. Um, yeah. They not coming towards you into spirit. Yeah, so many spirit is um mm -mm. this person has to yeah. Soulmate and poverty and Venus. Yeah, whoever this person that they was with, um, they they wound up receiving um yeah, I see side piece. Somebody was um, wanted to receive a lot of karma for messing with this person. Whoever this karmic is, know that this person wants to come towards you. So they felt like if they swap energies, they can have your masculine see them like how they see you as the divine family. Okay? Yeah. They wanted, yeah. This person had a lot of secrets. A lot of hidden secrets. Yeah. They didn't want this divine union to come in. Mm -mm. They didn't. Whoever that karmic is, is an opportunist. Okay, they want they want what you have. They want what you and the divine masculine have. See, this is, I'm telling you, Akashi record. Somebody wants your gifts. Somebody wants your gift. Whoever you are, chosen one, you definitely have the like. You can unlock a lot of secrets. Okay, you unlock a lot of secrets from people past, present. It's like you got the key to the streets. You have you know all you you know everything. There's nothing that's hidden from you without you knowing. You have access to great wisdom. 
You have a lot of psychic connections. Somebody don't like that. Yeah. And they don't like the fact that this person sees you as the one. I feel like your person communicated that to this person. They was real honest with this person and told them that. And whoever this karmic is like, no, you ain't going to leave. We got the Kashi records, King of Swords, Queen of Swords. They're like, no, if you go towards the divine feminine, this chosen one, I'm going to be in poverty. The karmic was only an opportunist. Yeah, Ace of Earth, Astral Travel. Ooh, this person was trying to uh, affect um, your dream. This person was doing... Yeah, 5D. They knew about this connection. They knew about this unity that was coming together. And they knew that you guys had un unconditional love. You and your person could have definitely... Um, your person could have communicated to you and um, do um, astral travel to you telling you that they was leaving this person behind. For some of you guys, this divine masculine is really smart. They knew that if they didn't leave this karmic partner, they knew that they was about to get hit with some karma out the ass. Because this Saturn and Capricorn Aquarius is about to be some karma, okay? It's about to be some real strict karma. Somebody's going to be under judgment. Whoever this masculine is with this back is here, look, he's like, nah, you know what? I'm going to get the hell up out of here. And you know what? This person is working on themselves. Somebody's somebody working on themselves. Somebody like, I might be crazy, but I ain't no damn fool. Somebody gotten the hell away from this damn karmic. This karma. <laughs> mm. Yeah, look at this. Ace of Wands. Look at this. Mm, 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 mm. Soon as this person walk away, they get this new beginning. Look, Ace of Wands, Ace of Pentacles. And I'm telling you. Look at this. Whoever this karmic is that they they, they um they was tied to, they know that. Once this person walk away, they get this new beginning. Ace of Wands, Ace of Pentacles. Okay? They know that. And whoever this opportunist is, opportunist is this karmic, they mad. So your person was, was stuck to a karmic. This person is hurt because it's Ace of Cups. They didn't want this person to get this. Mm -mm, they didn't want this person to get this new beginning. This person wanted this person to juggle it and miss it. But somebody like, nah, yeah, with the four swords and the temperance, uh-uh. It's just divine timing. Divine intervention is here. Somebody, somebody knows. Somebody knew. Somebody knew that this karmic was was holding them back, trying to stop them from missing out an opportunity. And when this per when your person found out what this karmic was up to, somebody knew that. I mean, all hell was going to break through for this karmic. This, your person decided to say, you know what? I'm leaving. I'm going. You see it? Solitude and divine masculine. Somebody like, you know what? Let me go through this dark night of the soul and let me heal. Let me heal. Let me heal. Why well, I still got a chance. <laughs> Somebody like, yeah, why well, I still got a chance. Somebody is listening to their guides. Okay. Somebody like, let me hear why I still got a chance. Somebody guides with the with the um two of wands and, and three of swords. Somebody guides, okay, is directing this person, okay? For this reconciliation with this page of cups. I'm telling you. We had the death card and the shrimp card. Yeah, somebody is definitely mm -mm. somebody is definitely going through a death and a rebirth. And when they come out, they're gonna be strong, is <laughs> stronger and better than ever. Yeah, I'm telling you, eight of cups with the seven of swords, that karmic, whoever your person karmic is, the moment your person left, they got sneaky. Your person is not as crazy as you think they are. They're not as crazy as you think they are. I'm telling you, somebody said, if I don't get the hell up out of here, I know the karma that's coming for you. Knight of swords, when I say somebody knows, somebody like, uh-uh, I know the type of karma coming for you. Knight of Swords with the Seven of Swords with the Chariot, Five of Cups. Mm. They're trying to come for a light worker. Mm. Holy Spirit, give me some more messages, please. Somebody is listening to these guys. Yeah, Six of Pentacles. With the Nine of Pentacles. 
whoever your person was messing with, that karmic was an opportunist, okay? There was an opportunity. It was only there for the money, okay? Your person knew with the six of pentacles, the nine of pentacles, you was, you was self-made out here on your own, okay? You were self-made, self-sufficient, very independent. You do this by yourself. This is somebody that created everything that they got from the ground up. No handouts from the ground up, okay? This karmic knows that this person is in love with you. They want to see if they can swap energies, swap destinies with you guys, and thought they was going to come out, out like the divine feminine or divine masculine. Take it how it resonates. Yeah, right. That was not happening. That was not happening. <laughs> Send a sword. Something is over. Something is over. Yeah, eight of swords. Now they in their head, eight of cups. Whoever this karmic is, they know that it's over. They're in their head now because this person is going here. Yeah, now it comes. Whatever they was wishing on, banking on, none of that shit happening. It's not happening. Whatever they was wishing on is not happening. Yeah. Ten of Pentacles, the Fool card, Knight of Wands, the Star card. Mm-mm. No. <coughs> Excuse me. Ten of Pentacles, the Fool, Knight of Wands. You still gonna get this passion new beginning. You still gonna get this ace of earth with the star card. Somebody is a star. Somebody is a healer. You are a healer. Mm. King of Cups, High Priestess. <laughs> They're mad because this your person is in love with you. They're in love with this high priestess, whoever the tarot reader is. Seven of Cups and the Lovers. You can have options. A lot of people could be wanting you. Three of Pentacles could be wanting to work with you. Mm. So we have the Emperor, Three of Wands, Four of Pentacles. This person waiting on you. They holding on tight as hell. They waiting on you. Somebody is definitely enlightened to who you are. And they ain't, this person ain't giving up either. Give me a card in the Seven of Cups in the Love of Holy Spirit. Yeah, the Hermit and Page of Swords. Oh, this person watches your every move in secret. This is somebody that's obsessed with you, literally obsessed with you. Obsessed with you. This person is crazy. Whoever this karmic is is crazy. I feel like they want you more than the divine masculine. Yeah. <laughs> Ten of cups. Jealous of your happiness. Whoever this king of pentacles is is jealous as well. Whoever this, this earth sign is, somebody is mad because you're turning your back on them. So for a lot of you guys with the sun card, the will of fortune, something is, yeah, something is changing. Some type of truth and clarity is about to be exposed. Something is definitely changing, okay? And I see it going out and going, going in your favor. This king of pentacles is mad. So for some of you guys, spirit is saying, by them working on themselves with the dark night of the soul, you, um, spirit is not making you wait on this person. So, okay, so spirit is bringing someone else in as well. Wow. You hear the moon card. Oof. Because this person got some type of karmic debt that they got to pay off. So see, they was working with this karmic. Okay. They was working with this karmic. Give me more on this karmic partner, Holy Spirit. Something is definitely changing. With the will of fortune, it is, you ought to receive some type of truth and clarity. With the Wheel of Fortune in the Sun, you won't be very happy wherever you go. But I feel like you guys are definitely getting um, a divine union that's coming in with new love. Okay, but whoever this, these karmics is, these karmic partners, only reason why your person is, um, you know, I'm calling your person a karmic because of the energy that, um, that he was involved in. This person is going through a dark night in the soul to try to, to, um, to clear that up, okay? This person has some karma that they need to clear up. You have done the work on yourself. 
Okay, you don't, the spirit is not making you wait on this person. This person, but before they left, they did a lot of underhanded, a lot of underhanded stuff to you. For a lot of you guys, your person karma was this karmic. Spirit, give me more um, message on this karmic part, the four swords. I'm telling you, it's going to be a lot of healing taking place. Nine of Pentacles. Somebody is walking away. Somebody is deciding to be single. That's that divine masculine because he realized the karmic is my karma. It's my karma. Let me just spend time by myself in solitude and heal and go through this dark night of the soul to clear this damn karma up because I'm losing everything. Knight of Cups. And they hoping that they could come and bring you this love offer once they die. Yeah, because they know they juggled you. But with the justice card, somebody want to bring balance to the situation. Eight of Wands. This person definitely could be wanting to communicate to you with the lovers and um, Eight of Wands. Someone is making a choice. And I feel like the person, whoever your person is, they choosing you. We got the Tower in the World card. The Tower in the World card. It's like somebody had a sudden epiphany. was like, let me get the hell up out of here. Let me get up out of here right now. But with the nine of swords I just seen in the devil card, mm, somebody's, yeah, the moon card, somebody was doing something underhanded. I feel like somebody was doing something, some, somebody was doing some type of black magic. Okay. This person was doing the most. Yeah, the moon card with the ten of cups. This person is all in the hand when it comes to your happiness. Four cups, when it comes to their happiness, because they feel like you're going to reject them. Yeah, seven of wands. This is you guys setting up boundaries when it comes to this person. Because you warned this person about this karmic, the magician. You warned this person about, yeah, the magician and the um, eight of pentacles. You warned this person. You could have told this person, like, I know this karmic doing magic. Two of cups with the judgment. Whoever these two people is, they are under judgment right now. And they're in their head about it. Eight of swords with the, um, with the devil card. Capricorn energy. These two people are under judgment, heavily. Five of Cups, Will of Fortune. Somebody is receiving bad karma. And even though your person has left, okay, this person still has karmic debt that they have to pay for what they've done to you. Three of Wands. Somebody is turning their back. Page of Cups. This person is very apologetic now. Yeah, the death card, Scorpio energy. This person is going through a dark night of the soul. Ten of wands, and it's heavy on them. Oh, they're going through it. Spirit putting this person through it. Nine of swords, this person is going through it at this time. And I feel like, yeah, six of swords, your guys is not playing at all. Eight of cups with the six of pentacles. Okay? This is you guys um, walking away. And I feel like you guys got a union that's coming in that's going to be equal give and take. You guys have new love, new love somewhere else. What's this Eight of Cups and Six of uh, Pentacles on the Spirit? Five of Pentacles. Somebody else is going to be getting left out in the cold. Yeah, Four of Wands. So this could be a twin flame connection you guys could be walking away from. King of Wands. Knight of Swords. Somebody could be um, feeling angry at this time because they took too long to take action when it came to this union. Yeah, the temperance card, but somebody wants to balance it out. Okay, I felt like you was very patient with this energy for a while. Six of Cups, whoever this person is from your past, Virgo energy, Sagittarius energy. Give me a card on the temperance. It could be a, um, a Sagittarius could be very angry. Yeah, we have the Fool card, the King of Cups, and the Three of Pentacles. I see somebody taking a leap of faith and want to come in and work with you. What's the Three of Pentacles, Holy Spirit? King of Swords. Somebody wants to speak some type of truth to you, Nine of Wands. This person, mm, yeah, Two of Wands. Somebody want to come to you and um, tell you how they messed up, how they regret the choice that they made. Okay. This is somebody that's seeing things from a different perspective. But for a lot of you guys, I feel like you're not you're not gonna choose this King of Cup. I mean this King of Pentacles. Yeah, page of wands. This King of Pentacles wanna message you. 
kick it, the kick it, uh, page of the tower with the king of pinnacle. A lot of you guys, I feel like you're not gonna, you're gonna uh, work with the king of cups. Give me a card on the king of cups. Yeah, ten of swords, four of pinnacles. Yeah, whoever this person that betrayed you, they they um trying to hold on to you. Card on the king of cups, holy spirit. Okay, so we have the knight of wands with the empress. Yeah, someone who has a lot of passion for you. With the higher friend. I feel like that with the higher friend and the um page of swords. Whew. Yeah, this person been watching you for a while, studying you. Whoever this King of Cups is. They've been watching you for a while. Yeah. The higher friend, page of swords, nine of cups. Yeah. This person got strong feelings for you. Yeah, you are this person wish fulfillment with the Ten of Pentacles, the Ace of Cups. Yeah, I see you going a whole nother. A lot of you guys is, is rejecting that King of Pentacles. Yeah. The Shrimp card, Three of Cups. Yeah, somebody is in their head. Yeah, because they realized everything was a damn illusion. This person is arguing and fighting with this person. Mm. Somebody is wishing that they would have chose this psyche or this healer. You guys could be a nurse, a doctor, a shaman, Reiki healer. Somebody is wishing that they would have. Mm -mm. Let me get you guys some angel messages so I see before I close this out. Yeah. Somebody done messed up. Somebody done messed up big time. And now whoever this whoever that previous person is, ooh, they trying to clean it up now. They trying to clean it all up. They are. They trying to clean they mess up. Somebody realizing that the karmic was my damn was my damn karma. I went against a light worker. They really thought they was. The, you had two people planning how to take a light worker down. Somebody who was chosen. They was oh, they was planning. They was planning it out. Somebody was like, "We could do this. I know we can do this. I know we can do this. I I, I know we can do this to this light worker and chosen one. I know we can do this." Oh yeah. Mm. If your person was your divine masculine before, okay, somebody turned into a karmic, okay? They gotta get right. Spirit is like, this person has to get right. Let me get you some angel messages before we close this out. <laughs> Matter of fact, let me get some messages from your person. From, um, Let's get some messages from your person before he closes out. Let's see what else they want you to know. Hurting you was not the plan. They teamed up with that damn karmic. Each day I think about how it would be like if we were together. One day it will be one day I will be ready to surrender. I know I failed you and let you down big time. You deserve much more than I can give you at this time. My heart was blocked. I was not available to receive your love when you gave it. Ooh. Yeah, this person is so embarrassed. I acted foolish and don't know how to tell you. I'm sorry, I am. Oh, they don't got to tell you. They receive your karma. You already know. That karmic was their karma. Life hasn't been too nice to me, and I took that out on you. Mm. I made so many bad mistakes. Ooh. I hope we can do a do-over. I am damaged and not deserving of your love. This person is saying, I am damaged and I'm not deserving of your love. This is why this person took the coward's way out by choosing a karmic. For a lot of you guys, this person chose a karmic out of pride. They felt like you did something to their pride. When you stood in your purpose, when you stood in your truth, when you stood true to yourself, this person felt like you, you, you bruised their pride. Because you wouldn't settle. You wouldn't, you wouldn't take half, half ass stepping of them. You wouldn't take half of them. And this person wasn't giving you whole like how you were. 
giving this person home, this person felt like you did something to their pride. You did something, you, you, you ego, they, like something about their pride. I'm, I'm, I'm picking up on like, this person felt like you bruised their pride. Like if you were supposed to settle for whatever life or whatever lifestyle that it was bringing you, whatever half as whatever half as stuff that was bringing you, no, you got too much integrity for that. Somebody felt like you bruised their pride, so they went to go find a karmic, someone who didn't challenge them, someone who was a yes ma'am, yes sir type of person. Mm. Woo! This person is saying, "Crack the deck." I feel like a fool for losing you. Mm.